hi guys welcome to my channel my name is Danica and I'm a part-time reseller full-time flight attendant I sell on Poshmark Canada Poshmark US I am taking a break from eBay although we never fully got back together so anyway and today's video is a bins haul so I went to the bins Thursday for the first time in a few months. Um, the last time I went, I did a bins haul for YouTube. So you could find that video. It's probably the last video I uploaded. Oh my gosh, I'm so warm. <laughs> and um, so I had one day off this week from work and I wanted to do something that was like self-care adjacent. So I said, I'm gonna go to the bins. Even though I have unlisted stuff in my camera roll, I have unlisted stuff in my Poshmark room, I'm going to the bins. And that's just what it is. It is what it is. Ugh. There we go. Um, so I got 79 items. I'm pretty excited. I found some pretty good things. Um, yeah, so let's get into it. I'm hoping a lot of these things are to list on Facebook Marketplace for Stampede, which I kind of missed the boat on. I mean, it's still on for like another week and a half. It literally just started. I just feel like I wish I would have gone beforehand and listed stuff, but it's not too late. And it's all stuff that I could just list on Poshmark after Stampede anyway. Um, and then yeah, bring some stuff to consignment and a few things to list myself and maybe a few things to keep. I don't remember, honestly. Uh, oh, my hair is so frizzy. Okay, what is this? Okay, so I'm also going to be making a an Aritzia um, mystery box, I think. But I'll just show you guys here what is going to go into it. So here's, um, oh, well, this actually is so, oh, it's an extra, <laughs> I was gonna say, maybe I'll keep this for me. Um, it's an extra, extra small, but this look like, I'm a, probably between a medium and a large right now, but it looks like it would fit me. Um, but anyway, it's so freaking cute. This is Old Navy. It's just like a very cute dress. It's a large, this will probably go to consignment. Uh, it needs a wash. This is TNA. This will also go in the Aritzia mystery box. This also needs a wash. Um, it's just got like some dirt on it. Um, but this one is an extra small, just a TNA sweater um, hoodie. This is also Aritzia. It's Wilfred. It's a large which is quite the rarity. Um, okay, that's fine. Here's a thrift haul, also known as me finding all the flaws in everything that I picked up at the bins. I mean, so far we're doing okay because I knew about the spots and stuff. Um, so this is a blouse. It's got like an open back kind of keyhole thing on the back. This is Lululemon. <laughs> this, every good thing that I found was in a like very picked over bin. Not all the same bin, but like every time I found something really good, I was like, how did no one find this? Like this bin's been turned upside down. So perseverance pays off. Anyway, this is just like a basic Lululemon pink tank top. Okay, I did not know it was this cute. Maybe I'll be keeping this. It's a, I don't know what size it is. Oh, it's a size six. So I will not be keeping this. <laughs> It'll be a little small for me. Um, <laughs> I look like I have a, a little, a little belly. Um, anyway, this, oh, this smells like cigarettes. So this will be going in the freezer. Actually, this will be getting redonated because there's a hole that I didn't catch at the bins which is fine, it was a dollar. Well, <laughs> it smells like cigarettes. This is Wilfred Free, size medium. These knits kind of get holes in them too, so I wanna make sure I didn't miss anything. It needs a wash and a 
D pill, but it looks good so far. It's a size medium. So that will be going in the Aritzia box as well. What's this? Oh, I'll save this for after just because it goes with something else. This will be going to consignment. It's American Eagle Mom Jean. They are size zero, so I'm not sure if they'll take them because they tend to not really grab the smaller sizes I bring in all the time. But like these are very on trend, so maybe they'll want them. I think I'm gonna go to two consignment stores tomorrow. I have credit at one of them because they forgot to pay me for something the last time I went. So I guess I'll be buying something. Anyway, this is going into the Aritzia box. Um, this does have like a few loose threads. So I'll just, I'll just disclose that um, there's like, you know, very minor flaw size small honestly I could just like pull these back through the knit and it would be pretty much fine um and then I also found that in this beige color they're both a size small they're both um a silk blend which is really nice and it's like nice open weave like so nice for summer so nice this is just Shein straight to consignment it's like a cute little shacket. I thought about keeping it. I don't know what size. Oh, it's an extra large. And it's like a cute little corduroy shacket. Ugh. What's this? I don't even know why I grabbed this. I like took a picture while I was at the bins and then it just like ended up in my cart because I thought it was funny. Because this is like very 2000s um very very sex in the city so it's a shirt like a pk shirt that says new year's resolutions i will only date i will date only nice looking guys i will not obsess i'll eat more vegetables and less lipstick i will not be hard on my shoes i will not obsess i won't keep important info on tiny scraps of paper i won't call psychic hotlines i will i really will not obsess I won't forward chain emails to 15 close friends within the next five minutes. I will go to the gym, which is crossed off. And then I will go out with Jim. And I was like, who the hell is Jim? And then it ended up in my cart. Whoops. This feels like it's also a Ritzia. No, it's American Eagle. Size medium, little mock neck. Um, short sleeve tee. It's their soft and sexy line. It's a size medium. So this may end up in my closet. Although I don't really know if I would wear that. If I wore jeans maybe, but I <laughs> not a, I don't do hard pants. Um, this is Wild Fox, which again was like in a pretty picked over bin. So I could not believe it was still there. I missed Independence Day. Um, if I had listed this before then, Probably would have sold pretty quickly, but whatever. Um, this is just a cute little garage crop top. This will probably go to consignment. I don't think I'll keep this one. But like, I actually really like this style of top. Like the little cutout here just looks real cute. This is a cute dress. Um, Old Navy. But I... Like this will go to consignment for sure. Well, let's make sure the zipper works. It does. That's good. Although it's kind of like when zippers do this. I have jeans. This is for consignment. It's a pair of Levi's um, Mile High Super Skinny, size 29. Oh my gosh. The like dust and stuff from I sneezed approximately a thousand times while I was at the bins okay so the shorts kind of go with this well I guess not they're both they're just both champion and this thing is freaking heavy um so champion which I don't know if it's still like really as big as it was but it's the reverse weave medium uh, that's the size <laughs> 
reverse weave, which I think is like more sought after champion like style. And then this is just champion shorts that I might just keep because they look comfy and they're size large. So like perfect to sleep in, to bring to work for hotel lounging. This is American Eagle. I think it might be men's. I don't know. Size medium, but it's like a baseball top. I used, to, oh my gosh, I used to have a top like this that was white and then the sleeves were blue and I was, obs I thought that thing made me look so snatched somehow, but I wore it like all the time. It was Joe Fresh. This is just a Roxy um, bathing suit top. It's a size medium. This is probably for Marketplace. It just says, my life is half wondering if it's too late to drink coffee and half wondering if it's too early to drink wine. These kinds of things usually like sell pretty quick. This is the first thing I grabbed and it was just actually for me. It's just a vintage um, knit top. I kind of like these and it's got a cute little pocket down here. I don't know. I like it. This is, what is this? Oh, this is BP, which is like a Nordstrom house brand. And they're just like wide leg knit trousers. They're actually very, very soft. They're probably PJ pants, size medium. Courtney might try to steal those from me, which is fine. This is Brunette the Label, they're sweatpants. They are in rough shape. Like these need to be washed um, like and stain treated. Like there's a lot of spots on them. Um, but I think if I can get them out, like I paid a dollar. So if I could get like 25, 30, I'll probably bring them to the consignment store as long as I can get those spots out. This is Free People. It's very fuzzy. Very soft. It's a size large. What else is in here? I, th I think this is American Eagle. Yeah. American Eagle, soft and sexy, size small. I don't know if the consignment stores are still buying summer stuff or if they've like kind of moved on to fall. Um, but this is very cute. I'll save that for later. Um, this is just Shein, also for the consignment store, size extra large. It just says Angel Baby with like a little thing, like very Y2K. These are Lulu leggings. They do have some wear, um, like in here, but like I'll just price them low, probably 25-ish. This is for consignment, probably, well, maybe for Stampede on Marketplace. Size small, it's just like a little crop top with rhinestone straps, which I feel like would be a hit. This is um, a body glove bikini bottom, and it's a medium. I sell secondhand bathing suits just fine. Um, I don't find people are like really weird about it. As long as it's clean and like obviously I wash them, then it's fine. Oh, I didn't even realize this was brand new with tags. It's just a Livia Rose sleep tank and I just thought it was really cute. It says to-do list and then it's like three little cats lounging. Like how cute, the size medium. This is Shein and it's a 3X, which is this really a 3X? Cause it doesn't, I don't know. It's very cute though, a little Henley, a little crop Henley. This is a Banff shirt and it's like actually quite thick. No idea what size it is cause whoever it was 
cut out the tag, but I would guess probably a large, extra large. But like, how freaking cute. Um, oh gosh, I'm even, I should have tried to figure this out before the video. Cause this thing is like so tangled. It's Urban Outfitters. Okay, okay. So it's a romper. What the? What is going on with these straps is my question. Okay. Um. What? Okay. <laughs> I don't know how it works. Maybe you cross them. Either way, it's like a little romper with like an open front but you tie it obviously and it's a size small very cute it looks very comfortable oh another graphic tee <laughs> this is oh a calgary stampede feature amazing size small love it i found two of these and they're both like in very very good condition this is the first one it's a gap vest and like fall and winter are coming up so i'm like starting to gear up this one is an extra large and it's kind of got like an ombre metallic um vibe this is an Abercrombie bodysuit. It's a small, like very pretty, lacy, you know, like very pretty lilac color. This is Streetwear Society. I will also probably post this in my Stampede Facebook Marketplace thing. It's Shein, size extra small, very Stampede-y. This is Kitten Ace, which I literally saw this like sticking up and I was like, <laughs> grabbed it. Kitten Ace is like Lulu adjacent. I always forget how they're related. I feel like the designer for Lululemon left and started Kitten Ace or something like that. So they're very similar. This is the logo if you ever find it. It sells pretty quick in my opinion it's like a little plain white uh black long sleeve this i don't know if it's kids or not it's shein and it oh it says size 10 y so 10 youth whoops i just thought it was like a very cute little y2k um dress this stuff is already at the bins think about it think about it <laughs> okay this is the other, oh, this is a J. Crew vest, not Gap. So I got one Gap, one J. Crew. I've sold this exact vest before. Well, very similar J. Crew. And it sold very quickly. These, oh, I'm gonna redonate because they are, have seen way better days. And like the top is kind of peeling. Whoops. Okay, redonate pile. This is more Lululemon liking, size four. Yes, they are older, they will still sell. Um, not for like 70, 80 bucks, but for sure for like 30, 35. This is a 2004 championship um, NHL Flames shirt. So I'm keeping this as part of, I kind of have started a vintage Calgary athletics collection. Um, even though I am not a Flames fan, I mean, okay, I was raised as a Habs fan by my father, and I'm still a Habs fan, but, like, if I go to a Flames game, you know, this is for the Stampede collection, um, it's got embroidered flowers on it, it's just, like, Alia, which is, like, where grandma's shop. Or like 
anyway um so that's what that is it's so cute on this is smart set like for sure vintage y2k i remember when these were popular just like a tulle skirt this is an extra large no it's a large but i think the elastic is a little stretched out so i could probably get away with listing it as an extra large i'll put both this i photographed the other day for stampede made in italy i'm shocked it's just like a little lingerie dress thing but it's like very cute it's all sheer down the side well not sheer but well yeah it's lace anyway this i also photographed this and i loved it it's like a little 90s nighty uh, vintage licenza and like the straps crisscross in the back it's very pretty um this is the one i'll probably keep so this one is also garage but it's black and like i just bought like a beige one like this from airy but it has like little um hooks on the front so you can have it like as open or as close as you want and honestly I feel very cute in it, so I was glad to find that because it's not often that I find things that I like feel good in. Um, anyway, <laughs> this is a skirt. I don't know, there's no size, but I tried putting it on and <laughs> that didn't go very well, so I'm assuming it's like an extra small small. Um, I've never heard of this brand before. Well, I can't read the tag. It's all in Spanish. But it's like a very cute ruffle skirt. The back has some smocking. Well, no, not smocking, but elastic. Well, yeah, smocking. Um, so yeah, very cute. This top also I tried on and I loved it. It looked very cute, but I'll be selling it. It is size small and I'm assuming it's Shein from the construction of it and the tag. Um, yeah, but it's actually so cute on. This is a pair of shorts. Might go to consignment tomorrow. Um, the brand is almost famous. They're a size large, very cute, very stretchy at the waist Ugh. this is um a denim dress i was gonna try this on and it did not fit at all so i think it's probably a size small it's got these like cute buttons on the front you could for sure wear it open over an outfit as well this is a vintage tube top garage size large summer baby This is a like denim kind of trench-ish. It's got a belt. Ugh. This it's got this suede like patchwork vest for Stampede. Um, I think this will sell pretty fast. And I think if it doesn't sell on Facebook Marketplace for Stampede, it will sell on um, Poshmark quickly this wrap skirt so cute well it's not closed right now but let me see if I can kind of show you what it looks like when it's closed it's got like the kind of waterfally anyway I tried it on and it's adorable on I got this Danie leather purse which is like a really good size and it's real leather. What are these? Oh, Old Navy um, shorts and they're brand new. They still have the tag on them. Size 16. This is a jean shirt, just like a button down. It's the brand is DeVita. It's a size large, it's vintage. Very cute to like put on top of your Stampede outfit. 
also got this belt. What else is in here? This, I don't even, I don't know why I grabbed this. I don't even know if it's real. It's probably not worth anything. But I was just in a good mood, so everything came home with me. This is actually in very good condition. It's an Adidas jacket that says Milano on the back. So I'm assuming, and on the front, so I'm assuming someone brought it back from Italy or it's just sold here for some reason. Um, it's an extra small. I also love this dress. I tried it on while well, I photographed, I like modeled it for Facebook. Um, it's a halter dress, so, and it's a maxi dress, so it's like very long, floral, and then these like go around your neck. Very cute. Very cute. I forgot what the aftermath of a haul video looks like. These are just vintage um, bum jeans, size 12 but I think they're very cute. Wide leg, which is back in. Uh, this is a dress, just like a very plain black dress with smocking at the waist, so it kind of like right in the middle, which is very cute. And it's a v-neck, just plain, simple. Um, this is an American Eagle blouse. Let's see if I can show you. There it is. Um, and the back has like this little tie. This is a size, this is a small. My perception of things. Oh, there's a snap here. What does this snap to? Oh, here's the other side of it. Is it broken? What? I'm very confused because <laughs> there's like snaps on here, on here, but only half of the snap. And then one of them had another one attached to it. Um, oh, oh, it's just like to keep your bra strap like in here into the, um, Where'd the other one go? I'll find it later. This is probably Shein, oh, Streetwear Society, size small, and it's just like a Y2K, like new Y2K um, crop top that says baby girl, and it's like flame font, which is very reminiscent of the 90s. This is just like a very cute purple, Best. Um, this is uh, where is this from? Dynamite? No, Gap. Um, this is like a true vintage '90s halter top. Like I remember when these were. It and you have to be so careful tying this because you'll get all your baby hairs in there and it sucks. Like oh, here's the other. Snap. It was on the floor. Um, these are more jean shorts. They're Nevada. And I think I might. Oh, these also kind of smell like cigarettes. Um, cut them into cutoffs. I don't think I'm gonna leave them like this. I don't know. Let me know if you think I should or not. Because I could also wear them cuffed. That would be kind of a look, right? I don't know. Help me decide what I should do. Okay, I think I kept like some of the really good stuff at the bottom. These are just silver jean cutoffs. This is just a denim wrap skirt. Chambray. Okay. You saw this on Instagram, if you follow me. Um... Comps are actually not that bad. They're like, what, $30? It's a Taylor Swift shirt. Here's the front. 
here's the back. What am I doing with this? This, I was so excited. Okay, so the, there was like someone who was kind of standing in front of, there were two bins up against a wall and she, she had her stuff like in front of one of the bins and she stood there for so long. And so finally I was like, are you just sorting your stuff? And she said, yes. And no one had gone into their bin, those bins because she was in front of them. Um, and I was like, do you mind if I just like look through here? And I'm glad I did because I found, I can't believe I found these skims at the bins for a dollar. They're an extra small, which is perfect because that means I won't be tempted to keep them at all. Um, but they're like the cotton ribbed, I really like skims, <laughs> cotton ribbed, um, legging and they're like a very cute seafoam color. I have these same, I have the boxer length in white and I bought them on Poshmark, Poshmark US because they're way cheaper on Poshmark US. This is... I think it's pronounced Fall Raven. I'm not sure. Um, but it's like a very popular outdoor brand. Um, hiking. It needs a good wash. Like I can tell someone had like a solid hike in here sweaty because it smells. Mm, it needs to be aired out and washed. Well, it's like a very nice women's flannel size medium. Um, I didn't look up comps, but I, like, I know they're good. And is this last? No, there's something else in there. This is, I couldn't believe this, an Aritzia. This is not going into the Aritzia mystery box, um, but it's a Wilfred wool and cashmere coat. I, like, what? And it's got a belt. Um... This is like one of the first things I found that was like really good and it was like, I was just very excited. I forgot these. These are uh, American Eagle just like wedges with little bows on the top and like the side looks woven but it's plastic. And then the last I have... St. John Collection, Santana Knit Coat, Zip Up Jacket. So it was a very good day at the bins. I'm very excited about this. Um, honestly, it made me excited again to resell. I hadn't really been excited in a while. Um, so it was nice to be stoked on being at the bins and even though it was like busy and there were like lots of kids like just running around and like there was no one there that I knew so I was like just kind of in my own little world um I still left like really excited about even like photographing this stuff and listing it which I have not felt in a really long time so that's good um and yeah, so there's my first bins haul in two months. Um, let me know in the comments what you think my best find was. Um, and I'll see you soon. I did try to film a thrift with me, but I didn't really get much footage just because it was too busy. It was way too busy in there. Um, but I do have like a really old thrift with me that I need to put together and upload. So be on the lookout for that. And then maybe I'll do it what's sold soon. Cause I don't, but I don't know. Sales are just so slow. So I have not been motivated to do a what's sold. But anyway, oh my gosh. I can't believe that was 35 minutes. I, that did not feel like 35 minutes for me. Um, but yeah. All right. I'll see you again soon. Bye.